What's going on everyone, it's DB, and I wanted to give you a quick update on a couple fronts. First of all, yep, this is my new island. It looks very empty, right? Yep, I reset my island, and don't worry, I didn't like reset everything with it. I uh, kind of took it all down. And if you didn't watch my last video, that's kind of the news. So and you're probably wondering, DB, why would you take your castle out? It was so cool. It took you forever to build. There's so many videos on it. There's so many people that helped you build it. And yeah, I know, it took me a long time, man. It took me forever forever to build that but it just didn't feel like home it kind of just felt like a temporary thing you know it was like i don't know it, it just wasn't for me the best example I could give you is like, if you go into those like showrooms for furniture places, like you've probably been in them where they like sell furniture and everything's kind of like decorated out and you just don't feel like it's yours because you can't change anything. Yeah, that's kind of how it is having a crazy build like that. So we're going to be rebuilding this island. I'm kind of thinking like I might let certain builders like build a section of it of their own and just continue to add on to it. I think it'd be kind of fun and a little bit more of like a signature kind of feel similar to what I did to my last one, but more open i guess also i will be creating like a little hub area so that way i could do like little giveaways or like screenshots or whatever maybe we could do some events there maybe some you remember my simon says and musical chairs i know a lot of you want to see those mini games come back and so we'll probably do that i might do another like musical chairs it's been a long time since i did that but yeah i'm excited about how fast my island loads now and making something new and fresh because it's been like over a year since i've had something fresh also uh no islands update this week so if you're wondering where the islands up update is the devs did tell me no update this week because they're working on something big that's what they said we're working on something big i don't know what that means but it must be big so yeah let's just be patient about it let the devs do their thing i have seen some stuff it looks really cool i don't know i haven't seen everything but you know it looks it looks like stuff we need we need some of the stuff that they're working on so now the other update i have for you is um potato event the great potato war it's more like the uh bad potato war it's more like potato gone bad instead of potato war so i hosted this whole event and as you know it's all about harvesting potatoes well here's the problem so it turned out because the game only tracked harvest it got a lot of players confused so i kept getting like all these like private messages and pings with some very very confused farmers <laughs> at times they would like stop tracking their data so there's some bugs with the data tracking one uh one particular co-op completely stopped tracking all their progress and knowing how busy the devs are i didn't really want to bother them with this anymore like they helped you know they helped fix one and then we updated like you know one of the players counts and such but it sounds like it kept getting worse and worse and worse so the bad news is kind of potato war went bad the good news is we're going to do another one we might not actually do another potato war to be honest um i think we might do a different type of war the main issue with the um tracking is that the yield so like inside the war technically what should have happened is if you were to farm 10 potatoes it should count 10 potatoes, but the problem is it was only counting the harvest, which is a different mechanic altogether. It got really confusing. And so what I did here for the dev team though, is that all that yield tracking that, you know, all those bonuses. So like if you go to your um, skills right here and farming, you'll see there's 169% crop yield here. That's actually kind of goofing things up. Plus there's foods that can help you with crop yield. There's totems that can help you with crop yield. There's all these bonuses to give you more yield with your crops anytime you harvest. And so with that in mind, what I was told is it's not an easy task for the devs to be able to add that tracking so um to avoid further bugs i'm kind of thinking and let me know in the comments below what you think of this uh maybe there's a different item we can go for but i was thinking what if we did like a factory war or something i think that'd be kind of fun so let me know what you think um other than farms because it has to be something without yield ideally it's so like extra yield because like if like wood for example it does give you extra there's a possibility of getting extra wood from certain foods stuff like that so ideally maybe if there's something like for iron or maybe something that you can like craft or let me know what you think what item it should be used for um an event like that Ooh, i just got I got lavender. Cool. So yeah, we're going to change things up. So let me announce the winner. So we basically just wrapped up the event. We did have to extend it for a little while, but let me just tell you how the results went. So if you remember, we had two categories, regular mode, which is the one I'm on right now. And then we had the hardcore mode, which basically means no trading and anything like that. The number one winner for the regular mode was Vot, the potato farmer who had 12.6 million potatoes harvested. Remember, that doesn't sound like a big number, but um, if 
we have the 12 million count, that probably means he did about 50 to 60 million. I'm not really sure the exact number because it depends on the yield for that, especially with this account, if it's an alt or whatever. But when you're maxing out on your farms, you're going to do a lot more than that. So if it was counting at 12.6 million, that means he did a lot more than that. So next up, we have Dung's 2009 V2. They placed second place with 7.6 million potatoes harvested. And we have number three with Nick the Potato Farmer at 6.7 million. And then we had some consolation prize winners. You know, we had some people get stuck with their data as well. I think Mummy Power was taken and Explosive was taken. Uh, co-op could have had a really, really good chance to get maybe a top three. The main problem is uh, their co-op kind of like data stopped like tracking um, their harvest. So they, they were telling me that they were harvesting every day, but they've been, they were stuck. So I don't know what happened there anyway. The data that I'm getting Given is the data that I'm given. That's all I'm going to say. And as far as hardcore mode, uh, we had number one with Prince Dark 001 with 8.4 million potatoes harvested. Think about that. That's in hardcore mode. That's not in like regular mode. That's hardcore mode. And then nickname nine underscore YouTube or YT with 7.6 million and then number three with wolf lover 95 46 at 5.8 million potatoes harvested now th plays came in at fourth place with 4 million potatoes harvested he did have some data issues um so kind of unfortunate but we did grant a bunch of potatoes back to that so it seems like that is the number that is pretty accurate even so um, 5.8 million from wolf is a lot of potatoes now as a consolation prize i did grant the uh top 10 winners all plushies so hopefully the next event, they'll be able to participate. And it would be cool if we did another potato event, if the devs can figure that out. Maybe we will do another potato event, but for now, I'm just kind of planning what other items could we do the most steel plates or steel rods, something kind of interesting. Let me know what you think. Sorry, cow. We got to sell you later. Get out of here. Get out of here. It won't sell. There we go. Anyway, I will let you know when the next event is. It's probably going to be at least two, three weeks before that happens. I mean, this event cost me 91,000 Robux. Just to give you an idea, that's close to $1,000. Hopefully, next event will be much better. We'll definitely have some more time to test it too. So um, if you're wondering why I look goofy, by the way, I don't have my cape. I kind of I kind of took it off for a Slap Battles video I did on my main channel. So uh, I don't know what happened there. It just looks, it looks a little weird, right? Anyway, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next Islands vid. Peace.